Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I'm adding to my five days of owning the Cricut. I'm making a day six because we get this question so often and we see so many beautiful fonts with all the swishes and glyphs and no one knows how to access them. Okay, well, not no one, but I'm gonna show you an easy way that I do it. Um, so first, let's download a font that we know has this. Well, let me show you. So what I like to use, it's called main type. Main type is free, so just Google main type. What I like about it is all your fonts get dumped into, into this middle section right here. So I'm gonna go to my favorite font and I'm gonna show you first before we start downloading. So my one of my favorite fonts is Hannah Berry Koo. And you can kind of see over here, it's got all these extra ones, right? So let me, you can see, look at that K. I mean, all these letters are so beautiful, right? So I'm gonna show you how to bring it into Design Space. So first, let's go download a brand new font. So let's go here. I'm gonna go to Creative Fabrica because I do have a membership there and I love it. If you want to try it out, you can use my code. It's the Useless Crafter 30 and it's 30% off every month of your membership. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to sign up the first time with the code and it's automatically applied. Now I like it because it includes the commercial license. So I stop worrying about my fonts. Is that one that I got from Defont? Did I pay for it? Um, now I just know that I just started to switch over and I use their fonts almost exclusively. Um, and there's so many to choose from, but I chose this one for a quick tutorial. It's called the King of Romance and you can see the difference. Here's Australia in um, the regular standard form and then with all the extras that you can add, right? So this is kind of what I want to show you. I haven't downloaded this font yet, so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. <laughs> all right, so let's download it. Because I have the membership, I have the option to just click on the download button. I have to be honest, I've always had the membership, so I don't know what the walkthrough is if you have to purchase it. But I would assume once you purchase it, then you also have a download button, it's gonna be the same. Now, with most of their images and fonts, it usually comes over in a zip file. And I would say that's pretty standard for Etsy, um, font bundles, all of that stuff. So that shouldn't be different. All right, so what you do is I go over here, it's downloaded here, I click on this button, and I wanna show in folder because I'm gonna show you, technically you don't need to do this step because you could just go and go into the King of Romance, double click on it, and then you just, oh, whoa, another folder. So click on that folder, and then when you're given the option of OTF versus TTF, I haven't done the research, just enough to know that everyone says to do OTF. So if everyone jumps off a bridge, you will see me there too. All right, so we're gonna double click on the OTF one and then I'll give you the option to install. So we wanna install it. Now, this is the extra step, okay? I, ooh, oops, give me a second. Let me go back there, holy moly. There it is, King of Romance. So this OTF file, what I like to do is I like to go and I drop it into my desktop. The reason is because I also like using Font Cloud. So Font Cloud was in one of my days one through five. I can't remember which day it is, but Font Cloud is here. The reason why I like it is because once you do this, we're gonna browse and drop in our file over here, okay? So in desktop, it's called the King of Romance. So let's go down there. All right, here it is, the King of Romance. I'm gonna double click on it, and it's gonna drop in here. What is nice about it? Two things. One is once it's in here, for instance, I can type in Charlotte, and I can see what Charlotte looks like with all, the, all my system fonts. Everything that I've downloaded, that I've dropped into Font Cloud. Because what's cool is this is a free login, right? So you go to Creative Fabrica, you create a free account. You don't need the membership, you don't need to pay me anything, nothing like that, or create a Fabrica. <laughs> um, so you log in your free account. You create the free account, you log in. I can log in from any device, at my friend's house, on her computer, on my new laptop, whatever it is. I go here and let's say I'm working on something for Charlotte. I look and I like this font. 
Well, once I click on it, I can now download it onto that device. So it's super cool because I don't have to worry about where my fonts are, where did I get them from? Um, two years from now, oh, I like that one font. Oh, it's on my device that I used two years ago. Um, you don't have to worry about that. So I love Font Cloud. It's free. I already did a tutorial on it. I swear by it. All right, but now let's go into main type. So in main type, now once you install it, it's here. So let's see, the king of romance, right? And there it is, the king of romance. It's so fast. So what's cool is, you know, in design space, when you have two T's in a row, most of the time you get the stand, well, no, all the time, you get the standard T and when you put them closer together, it looks awkward, right? Because a lot of times the double T's have a specific um, extra thing that the designer created. So now you have access to all of that. You also have access to all the pretty glyphs. So let's go into design space and I'm gonna have to close out of this, right? Because every time that you install a new font, you need to close it out and then log back in. When you log back in, which I'm gonna do right now, your fonts will automatically appear. So it is simple, I guess. It could be more simple, <laughs> like main type, where as soon as I install it, it's available. But at least there's no extra, extra steps other than logging yourself in. All right, so it's coming up. Give me a second. The other trick while we're talking about this is you can mix the glyphs from different fonts. The only thing is, and let me go into a new project. The only thing is if you're dropping in a glyph from the King of Romance, for instance, then in design space, you need to be in that text, in that font. So click on text box. You need to be here in. So your font selection has to have the same font that you're gonna drop the glyph in, okay? So let's go back to file type. Let's say you want this, um, uh, let's say you want, I don't know, I'm looking for something like just gorgeous. Okay, here, this one. Look at that, the TH, right? So you click on it, Control C to copy it, go into design space, the text box here, control V, and oops, you know what? I <laughs> give me a sec. Oh, it did come in. I thought I had I, I thought I didn't copy it. But all right, so here's my TH. So I'm gonna make it really big because I also want to show you. I'm still in the King of Romance, right? So that's a capital T and an H. And you see what the T and the H looks like. First of all, the T loops all the way over and here's my age so I can ungroup it and I can move it over but I'm not getting first of all I'm not getting the beautiful H loop down here and then this part up here looks kind of funky right now it's starting to look like now I can't stop seeing a P <laughs> but um, so you can see it's different so let me show you what it would look like if um, uh, let me see. I did this yesterday, so I'm going to do this one. So this is Hannah Berry Koo, okay? And you see how the two T's, it's, um, it knows that it's a double T. So you can see this one's a little bit lower than this one. You can only get that, well, you can't get that in design space because if you typed in two T's, it would have given you the same T's, uh, the same T next to each other and it wouldn't give you one little full bar. I don't know what that's called, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's say on this one, I'm gonna ungroup it for a second. I wanna switch out, um, this H, okay? So let's go into main type. 
Let's go to Hanaberry Coo. And I'm looking for a super duper H, okay? So here, this one, okay? So I have that selected. I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna go into Design Space. But in Design Space, when I click on the text box, I need to switch from the King of Romance to Hanaberry. And then hit Control V. Because if you didn't do that, and I know you've probably seen this before, you'll get that box with the question mark and it just doesn't work, right? So here's how you would do this. Um, oh, you know what? Because I brought this in, the T is already connected to the H. That's okay, I'll do it on this one. I'm gonna bring this Charlotte down, okay. So I'm gonna make this really big and I'm gonna switch over here a little bit. Oops. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm just moving things all over the place. Give me a second. Hold on, let me undo this. I've just gotten crazy right now. <laughs> okay. And move this over here. All right, so now I want this H to kind of match up with that H. So I'm gonna make it smaller. And this helps me kind of figure out, you know, where my, how big to make my letters. All right, so now I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna drop this in. And look how beautiful that is, right? And that's so easy. And then of course you wanna weld it. All right, so that's my simple, quick trick on how to add your glyphs. I'm gonna go. We're gonna do lots more projects where I'm gonna use the main type and bring it in. Again, just Google main type. It's free and I absolutely love it. And while you're doing it, you might as well download Font Cloud. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to download Font Cloud. You just need to create an account. It's already on there. All right, I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you have any questions. Tell me if this is not the easiest thing. I don't know, I thought it was so easy, I love it. Um, I'll see you guys next time.